Hi, my name is Shad, and thanks for watching my video on drones. This is the drone that I use in the video, and you can see a product link in the description below. Stick around to the end of the video to see why I chose this and how it compares to other things that you can buy. Hey, thanks for watching. As you know, I'm filming with a DJI Mavic Pro 2. So I've flown with many drones before, and this is the one that has got all of the features that a professional drone photographer could want. So I've owned the Phantom 3, the Phantom 4, the Mavic, and now the Mavic Pro 2. And by far, this is the not just the evolution, but this is the best of their development that they've ever come up with. Several features here that I like that I didn't get in some of the previous drones. First of all, the camera. This is a high resolution Hasselblad camera that films at absolutely perfect resolution, as well as the dynamic range. So you can fly this drone directly into a sunrise and you can see uh, all the details in the shadows. It's just an amazing range of exposure. Also the range of the radio. This thing will fly like 12,000 feet, 13,000 feet away if you are out in the country or out on a mountain and there's no obstruction. So the only real limitation is the battery. It tells you that you're going to run out of battery and you better turn around and come home. So you never lose signal. Also, the battery itself will fly for a good 35 minutes. This is just insane. The battery is bigger than the original Mavic Pro and it flies uh, maybe five, 10 minutes longer, which doesn't sound like much until you're actually trying to reach that long view, trying to cross the canyon, trying to hit the other side of the mountain, that will get you there. Also for steadiness, uh, the other drones that I've flown are, if they're either too big or they're just wobbly. So like the uh, previous Mavic, it was the same size basically, but when you took it up in a windy day, the thing blew around like a leaf and uh, the videos were just kind of shaky all the time. So this isn't quite as good as the Phantom as far as getting a steady view, but it's almost there. So you get the compactness, you can put this in your tiny little bag and carry it up to the top of the hill, and it's still not going to blow around. Also, you could find that this thing is uh, uncrashable. <clears throat> so in the front here, you've got these ultrasonic uh, sensors, as well as on the back and on the bottom. So you can fly backwards with confidence, you can fly sideways, you can worry less about crashing this thing. And I should know, I've crashed several drones because they ran into mountains or into trees. So uh, this one here is more expensive, as I mentioned, than the previous the ones that I've had. But really, in the long run, it's cheaper if you don't actually lose it. So I recommend this and check the product links in the description below here to see where you can get it either on Amazon or on the DJI website. So you will not regret it. 
this thing here is exactly what a drone photographer would like to have. Hey, thanks for watching my drone video. Uh, my name's Shad, and you can see that I'm currently using a DJI Mavic Pro 2 for all of the videos that I do. Stick around to the end of the video to see why.